I should have started with you, Clayton Morris, because you're our guest today. Oh, thank you. What do you got for us? Well, as I was mentioning, over the past year, I've been building um, a business. And is that a, it's like a point. real estate investment business, right? Exactly. So you're not I, selling I, houses. You're not like you didn't get your license and you go out and you sell houses on like Tinky Wink for a little extra income. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, my okay. wife has her has her license, but we we basically help busy people get uh, turnkey real estate. Neat. And yeah, so you know, really I should like, do that. I should own a few homes around town to rent them out. Especially in the Airbnb era, has this changed uh, the economics of it? I mean, I buy my properties in the Midwest, so that's where I have the bulk of my the property. And nobody wants to uh, go there, so you can't really Airbnb them. <laughs> well, I, I go terrible. Where, you know, I'm sorry. I apologize to so, all my friends you know, like, from the you Midwest. You know, thirty thirty-five thousand dollar house. Something wow. Like Three bedroom, one bath. It rents out for seven eight hundred dollars a month. So that's I work that's with good. doctors across the country. I have a lot of you know clients actually from from California and other parts. Is it of the better world. than like doing a REIT? I mean, it's a direct investment. Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, and that's the thing because you'll get these bankers who will tell you, oh, no, 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 don't keep your money with us. We'll just put it in a REIT. We'll give you 2% return. Yeah. It's like, I'd rather get a 12%, 15% return wow. um, year over year. But anyway, that's what I do. So I buy houses, rehab them, and it's been amazing, and it's growing at a great clip. Good for you. But I need, like, I run my whole business on my Mac, right? And there are some limitations, obviously, with the system level apps, um, the, you know, the El Capitan apps that uh, a lot of them are, work great. But for instance, I use busy contacts. I was looking for a better Love way it. to manage contacts. And yeah. so, yeah, it's been really fantastic. So busy contacts in the new version um, is, is really great. So, you know, it works great when you're using busy contacts with if you've got one iCloud content, uh, you know, contact con um, iCloud content. So what I contact to to list, Contacts, address book. Contact yes. list, yes, yes, address book instead of multiples. But what's great is you can do tags in this. So, and you know, I have lots of conversations with our investors and buyers at different stages of closing. So, you know, John's property may be closing next Friday, and we're in the middle of rehabbing one, two, three Main Street. I need to know like different stages of communication with 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 clients, right? And so, I'm just bringing in and hiring an acquisitions manager. Now she'll be able to look at the different stages of conversation through, you know, upcoming events. It ties in with your calendar, uh, you know, messages that have been pulled up. So I, this is what I like is it shows you all the contacts you've had with them. It's kind of like a CRM style exactly. thing. So you can see all the activity that you've had with this guy on at a glance on the contact uh, sheet. Right. And so since I've, you know, talked to hundreds of investors, right? I talk, you know, in Australia and mm -hmm. California, mm -hmm. I need to know. It's great to be able to say, hey, John, you know, I know last week we were talking right. about this property or, you know, you were trying to move money out of your 401k or into a self-directed IRA, all these different things. So it, it's, it's like sort of immediate like name tag on the chest, you know, and you get to like have, you know, almost like memory recall right in front of you when you're having to look up stuff. So tags in with mail. And of course you can add uh, tags to anything too, which is great. Um, and which you can't do in the iOS address book, or I'm sorry, with um, El Capitan's address book, right. you can't, you can't do tags. So and this syncs with uh, not just your uh, iCloud contacts, but also with Google, Facebook, and LinkedIn, which is really nice. So, yeah, exactly. Uh, you you got everybody you've ever talked to, and it's all in, it's all mushed together. It is pricey; it's fifty bucks. But if you look at ACT, A C T, which people used for years in sales and stuff, this does a lot of the things that ACT did. Uh, right. So then taking that to the next step with iOS, I use Interact by Ad, the folks over at Agile Tortoise who, of course, make drafts. So mm -hmm. I needed a little extra oomph there. So on the iOS side, Interact for managing contacts um, is great. So I've sort of stepped it up a level in my contacts management. Why just, somebody's asking why you don't use something more industrial strength like Salesforce. I'm not there yet. And, you know, you don't want to – you want to focus on the – Focus on revenue first, right? Focus on the yeah. things that matter. Don't you can, spend all your revenue before you make it. <laughs> well, and it, yeah, and it's, but you, I could go in FusionSoft, right? I could right. go, I could spend thousands and thousands and thousands on these next level tools. Yeah. I think people have a tendency to want to get so caught up in making business cards before they make a business, you know, <laughs> and I think that's maybe down the line when I have a proper, the proper infrastructure for that. But right now it's, you know, little old me and a, and a few people in the house. So there. There's a couple of really good uh uh, tips. We don't talk enough about kind of uh, use, useful tools for this kind of thing. I think that's uh, that's great. Thank you for doing that. Uh, sure. Yeah, I really, really appreciate it. 
Um, and I use Busy Contacts too, and I don't have any reason to use it. I just like it. <laughs> well, it's got so many extra bells and whistles. Yeah. You know? I don't. I don't do sales or anything, so I don't really. I don't care. I don't. When I talk to somebody, I don't care if I've had contact with them before or whatever. But it's just handy. It's a good. It's a better address book, frankly. Right. Uh, and I do love it that it ties into all the other address books I have. That makes it really uh, useful.